Okay, here we are in Serif Raw Plus with an A4 portrait page, and we're going to create a website structure chart. We can use a quick rectangle to represent a web page, and if we type in home page, nothing happens. However, if we put the pointer over the uh, box that we've just made, and we right click and we go to text, edit text, we can then type in a name for that page, home page, which will go in there without any problem. If we want to make that a bit bigger, right click, text, edit text, character, paragraph, what can we do with that? Character? There we go. Let's make it a bit bigger. And Times New Roman is okay for bodies of text, but really, if you're working in design, then Arial. There, that looks better. What's that little button do? Nothing. Nothing, because it's the center of rotation. If you move that, it rotates about that point, and you don't want to rotate it. Control Z, put it back where it was, and leave it alone. OK, so we've got a home page, and it doesn't need to be that big, does it? There we go, got a home page on the page. Hold down Control, press C, press V, and we've got two pages. Right click, text, edit text, and we've got first link page which will have a purpose and a function which you know about which you can type in there now I copied and pasted the first one because I want it to be the same size now I need to represent the fact that these two pages are linked together so I need an arrow an arrow to connect them connect a tool connect a tool click 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 drag there we go and we have a connector and we just need to sort out the ends and we can do that by selecting the line and then coming over here if you want to make the line thicker why would you <laughs> right what's that one do puts an arrow on the end and that puts an arrow on the end and that one is a kink in the middle there we are. So what does all that mean? It means that you can, you need a key for this obviously, it means that you could go from that page to this page and you can go back again. Perhaps it might be better to do two arrows if we just take that off. There we go, We've got an arrow showing we're going that way and on this one let's take off the wrong end <laughs> right that one and that one go back up there we go and we're showing a little bit clumsily there we go but we can go forwards and backwards we can link from that page and we can go back to that page and we might even be able to go to a another page if I do a control V what am I going to get use the select tool we can have another page that we can link to. So there we go. Pages, connectors, don't forget. Need a title, artistic frame tool, possibly. And away you go. Again, if you're doing design work, Arial's better, looks more technical. Website structure chart. There we go. The artistic text tool has the advantage that you can do that. You can change the size of your font without any fiddling around and obviously position that where you want. Um, wouldn't hurt to put a few words of information in there using an ordinary text frame tool. Um, so the website etc. 
Now when you've finished, obviously, save it all. And then export as an image. No, publish as PDF. That's always a good one. That should go. Acrobat 5, OK, bang. And then you'll be able to include this in any email or any other publication method. Okay. Right, good luck. There you go.